So apparently, Lomachenko faked his injury. Or, if you're going to say he didn't, then obviously and logically Billy Joe Saunders did not either. Stop being biased. Biased. Say it with me now. Biased. You don't even know what the word is. You sure you know what it means? Just fucking around a little bit, but, you know, it's... This injury that Loma sustained, recurring injury, by the way, is being compared to Billy Joe Saunders's, who's never even really gotten busted up in any fight. Not that much anyway, right? I mean, if you're Kel Brook and you're getting your eye socket busted, supposedly, uh, you're likely to have that happen again, maybe, right? Maybe you just got weak bones or there's something to go on there, maybe, right? If we believe believed you in the first place. But look... <clears throat> are you more likely to trust a woman that has cheated on you before or one that never has or at least there's no evidence that she has are you more more likely to trust a woman that treats you well or one that treats you like shit we're just gonna sit here and pretend like the character of the man that is Lomachenko is exactly the same like Billy Joe Saunders. Have you lost your fucking mind? Do you not understand how to be prejudiced? Have you lost your ability to discriminate? And if so, you're likely a soulless zombie or on your fucking way there. These are very important skills, God-given abilities to help you get through life while understanding what's happening. Yeah? Jesus. So yeah, Billy Joe Saunders is, I mean, he's a scumbag, man. I don't even follow the shit that he does. I just hear rumors about midget prostitutes and all this other, whatever, man. The guy's a creep. His kids are just, whatever, man. They're scumbags. They're, like, they're not people of honor. Okay? What, what can we say about Lomachenko that, that isn't, like, in, insofar as we know, as a person, right? Family man, um, humble, well, yeah, not always, but, like, just a cool, chill, normal dude. As humble as, you know, Tom for Pound number one boxer can be, basically. Has he has he ever lied to us? Has he ever deceived us? Has he ever like played mind games with the fans? Has he ever told us one thing and then he told us another thing? Like what what are you comparing here? For starters. And why is it that we should have more trust in someone like Lomachenko? Because every single goddamn time he claims an injury, he shows us evidence. Billy Joe Saunders just says things on Twitter. He won't even show his face. Why won't he show his face and tell us to our face? Because you could probably look at him and be able to tell he's lying. Show your goddamn face, coward. At the very least. So what? Loma had these photos photoshopped, right? They faked the hospital settings, setting with uh, all the implements there, right? All this stuff. And then they photoshopped these stitches on the shoulder, right? Oh, and the doctor that did the operation, wh whose direct quotes you can read. You know his name. You could look up his clinic. You could call him up. You could ask him about this, right? There are direct quotes. Fucking hell. There are direct quotes from the guy, right? In many different articles. He describes the injury in detail. A doctor, right? He's lying, right? They paid a doctor to lie, to, to describe, to imagine a certain injury. They, they faked all of this, right? And Lomachenko just... It was a fixed fight, right? He just lied down for... He wasn't in there to take his fucking head off, right? When when the fight finally started. And he was giving him free shots in the first six rounds, right? Like, what are, what are we talking about here? 
Loma basically shut the fight down in the first six rounds. Nothing happened. It's not like Teofimo won those rounds. Loma, Loma lost them, right? And then he came in the fight and tried to win the fight. Billy Joe Saunders was pulling his punches all night. He threw some good punches out of range for the most part. Didn't even try to put a dent in Canelo. Didn't, didn't go out on the shield. He started leaning into the uppercut over and over and over and over again and, and then got hit with a good uppercut, got a black eye and quit. Okay? What, what are you comparing here? Where are the x-rays? Where's doctor testimony? Can we get some citations from a doctor that operated on him? Can Billy Joe Saunders face the camera and tell us himself? I mean, just have a couple of photos taken? He tweeted something. His, his promoter tweeted something. Oh, well, it must be true. Look, you can believe whatever you want to believe. But don't, don't hold these two or hold these to the same standard of evidence. Right? If, if you're going to believe Loma, look at all the evidence. I mean, if you're, then you sh maybe you should expect, uh, what's his face, Billy Joe Saunders to have the same amount of evidence. If you are to believe him and be consistent, or at the very least, don't start questioning Lomachenko if you're believing Billy Joe Saunders. If you believe Billy Joe Saunders, okay, maybe your threshold is very, very low. You believe everything. I don't give a shit. But let's not act like one guy doesn't have a ton of evidence of a recurring injury, something that has happened in the past. Let's, let's not act like it doesn't explain the injury, isn't an explanation of why the fight went the way it did and everything leading up to the fight, which I will get to in just a second. And let's not pretend like it doesn't make sense in Billy Joe Saunders' case. I'm not saying him quitting doesn't make sense. If this injury was that severe and he decided to quit, it is what it is. But where did the injury come from in the first place? Him sucking on purpose, obviously. And even if you disagree with that, that still doesn't weaken my argument one bit. You guys, some of you guys are comparing apples to oranges, acting like they're both apples. Questioning somebody else's intellectual integrity when you don't even have any you don't have any credibility here just like Billy Joe Saunders doesn't have any and Lomachenko has a ton look at the man's character look at his history who going into any of these fights that Loma's opponents were quitting who said these fights are fixed these guys are going to quit who said that it kept happening over and over and over no one said it Oh, he was going to kill him. He was going to break his jaw. Nicholas Walters is going to whoop his ass. They're going to kill him. Blah, 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 right? Y no one predicted that. How many people predicted that Billy Joe Saunders was going to check out? Starting with Billy Joe himself. Why are we acting like these are same circumstances? How did, why did Loma fake an injury to, to fix the fight against, right? This is what you're saying. To fix the fight against Teofimo. And then came out looking to take his fucking head off and whooped his ass in the last six rounds. Walking through huge shots from him. Your theories don't make any sense. You're like, people, seriously, people have lost their fucking minds. You're too emotionally involved in this shit. Telfimo came out after the fight and basically confirmed that Lomachenko had an injury. He didn't say, oh, bullshit, he's lying. He confirmed it. Why? Well, we know why. Because Lomachenko had to take painkillers, and in accordance with VADA rules and the contracts that they sign, you have to disclose to your opponent when you're, when you're taking a questionable substance. That's normally considered a PED. You have to get a therapeutic use exemption for, at least Loma did, for the painkiller he was using to be able to spar in training. So Teofimo knew. That's why he's not saying, oh, he's lying. But in, in turn, he's saying, I had an injury too, right? Without providing any evidence for it. 
That's the dishonest guy, in my opinion. So, why isn't Teofimo saying that, right? Well, we know why. He he knows Loma had an injury. Like this, <laughs> there are photos. Look, you don't have to, if you have a super super high standard for this, right? You you're very very highly skeptical. Fine, you don't have to believe Loma, but then you are that much less likely to believe. You really shouldn't believe anything Billy Joe Saunders says insofar as any injury, right? Look, he didn't even being checked out by the doctor or some doctor with Bob Arum even there. <laughs> yeah, they they faked all of this. It's all fake. I mean, and then and then you look at the fights. When Loma was injured against Linares, he wasn't using his. It's the left shoulder. No, the right, the right shoulder. He wasn't using his right hand very much. And then toward the end of the fight, where, you know, had he completely lost his arm, well, it was the end of the fight, no big deal, right? How did he knock him out? If I remember correctly, it was the right hand to the body, or he used the right hand to hurt him and then followed up. Like, he started using his right hand, and that's how he was able to knock him out. He saved, he clearly injured himself. Well, he said he did, and then we saw evidence of that, where he started shaking his arm. And then stopped using it as much. Wasn't hooking with it. Right? Was mostly just jabbing but not hooking. And then he brought the hook into the party and the fight was over. And the same thing happened in in uh, the Teofimo fight. Having had that experience of fighting injured, that's what he based his game plan on. Right? Took it, didn't use that arm much or saved himself even more. Right? He was in there with a the much more dangerous opponent. And then toward the end, he stepped on the gas. And he explained all of this in his interview. He saved himself for later because if his arm had completely gone early in the fight, he would have lost it. Why not, why not do that, right? If the fight is fixed and he's faking an injury. Or whatever, man. Well, then just claim that you threw your arm out and, and quit. Right? Like Billy Joe Saunders in the corner. These two aren't... You could compare them, but like, do an honest comparison, goddammit. Besides, is Billy Joe Saunders a man of character? Well, in my opinion, Lomachenko is. And there's plenty of evidence for that. On both sides. Who predicted... Everyone's smart after the fact, right? But like your hypothesis, did, did it have? Does it have any predictive power? No. A ton of people predicted Billy Joe Saunders was going to check out in some way, shape, or form. Some people said he was going to outright fucking quit. He said he was going to check out. You motherfuckers are deluding yourselves, man. I'm not saying you have to believe everything that I believe. Right, but like, if in my opinion, if our attitudes look, look, you're, you could interpret facts differently than I do. Obviously, we're all different, but keep it consistent. That's all I'm saying, right? So if you don't think uh, Billy Joe Saunders played up, faked a little bit, right? Clearly, he was injured, right? There was something wrong with the eye. But if, if you don't think they blew it out of proportion and, and faked it a little bit, so on and so forth, well, then you can't even begin to accuse Loma of any of this shit. Like, have some kind of a standard is what I'm saying. Right? So there's a ton of evidence. I would say proof. But that really depends on how skeptical you want to be. To me, there's proof of Loma being injured. The, the A side is gonna, and that's another thing. Like Billy Billy Ho was the B side. Loma is well, not the A side, but he's he's Mister Pound for Pound, right? Clearly, Telfimo was the A side. Anyway, and he there's evidence that he knew about the well, he did know about the injury. That's why he was so confident. 
saying that he's going to win because he knew Loma was injured. We know why. We know why. He's on his way out, right? Oh, his time, like, Loma's breaking down physically. And Teofimo was telling you all this because he knew about the injury because they had to disclose his um, painkiller use before the fight. Duh. And the same thing happened, probably, I mean, with uh, Pacquiao Mayweather. Same thing. Maybe Bob has these contracts signed. Whatever, man. I don't even feel like going there. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean, you know, these, to try to um, imply some kind of a bias, right, because you're not treating completely different situation differently. You're just projecting your own bias. You're not being fair to someone who provides you with a ton of evidence. Again, you don't have to believe it. Whose story actually makes sense, right? And then you're choosing to believe a, a scumbag that's not at all credible, not a man of character, right? Whose story doesn't fucking check out, given all the evidence. It doesn't check out. I am not saying that he didn't have this injury, but show your fucking face, yeah? Have the doctor that operated on you give some... How difficult would that be? Where's the x-ray? If, if you don't want to give the x-ray, fine. Maybe it's just a couple of fractures, not four. Maybe, you know, they kind of embellish just a little bit. Maybe it's a minor fracture, not a huge fracture, right? But, like... Have the doctor give some kind of... Why? Where are all these reporters calling the hospital, calling the doctor? Investigating. No one's investigating this. They're not even trying to investigate this. With Loma, they did. The doctor gave... There's direct quotes, statement from the doctor, describing the injury in detail. A guy that's been practicing medicine for almost 40 years. <laughs> Has a clinic in Cali. You can look him up. Call him up. Ask him. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same thing. You believe Loma. You bias. Fucking retards, man. Oh, and guess what, kiddos? Get what, kiddos? Get, guess what? Kiddos can't fucking talk today. Um... Billy Joe Saunders can't return, return after this. Billy Joe Saunders is coming back, says his reporter. I'm confident he's going to come back, right? It was, it was touch and go for a while. We lost him a couple of times. We were praying for his life and family, right? I'm exaggerating, but oh my God. That was the reaction initially. Zero proof, zero evidence of any of this. And then a day or two later, oh, I'm confident he's going to fight again. His career is in jeopardy. He should have quit because his, his career was going to be, he was going to die. His career is in jeopardy. A couple days later, oh, I'm coming back. We're confident he's going to be back in the ring. <laughs> Fucking zombies, man. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> Keep playing yourself, fools. Keep projecting your um your own fucking bias, putting it on other people. That's not what grown men do. Anyway, Loma's gonna fight this uh, mountain of a man, um, coming off an injury. Well. This is crazy. Uh, this is insanity, I think. Um, I don't know if um, Bob Arum is pushing for this fight or if Loma asked for this fight. Maybe Nakatani is Amanda or something. Maybe it's an easy fight to make, in-house fight or what have you. You know, Nakatani just had a tremendous win. Uh... And his win is inadvertently being promoted for all the wrong reasons, given what's been going on with Mr. Verdejo, right? 
Um, so, you know, maybe it's happening for all those reasons or some of them. I don't know. But that's crazy. What's Loma like? He's listed, I think, at 5'5". Five five. <laughs> How tall is Nakatani? Nakatani is six feet tall or something crazy like that. Not only that, but Nakatani is one of those welterweights fighting at 135, right? So physically, this is a tremendous, tremendous mismatch, okay? Now, obviously, Lomachenko is the more skillful guy, but like coming off the shoulder injury, just jumping right in there with this guy. And look, I wouldn't want to see Loma against any bumps because that's not going to tell us anything, right? So I don't want to see that anyway. I don't want to see Loma in a tune-up fight anyway. Um, but this is 5'11 and a half. Okay, this is commendable. This is, um, this is a very dangerous fight for Loma, especially coming off an injury. If this is the Loma that fought, um, uh, what's his face? The Axeman, okay, different story. He's listed at 5'7", but I don't think he is 5'7". Maybe he is, I don't know. Anyway, 71-inch reach, Nakatani, 65, Lomachenko. I mean, the guy is a welterweight. Let's keep it real. Maybe skinny, maybe um, using supplements to, uh, to make the weight. The guy's huge. Um, technically, he's got nothing for Lomachenko, right? But Lomachenko might not have anything for him physically. So this could be Pacquiao Margarito type of a thing, right? Where Pacquiao wins, and, and Loma's not Pacquiao, meaning he doesn't have the kind of aggressiveness, uh, the kind of tenacity, and the kind of punching power that that Pacquiao had, right? Still does. And, but maybe Nakatani is not as tough as Margarito. He's plenty tough, though. Tough enough for Loma. But but it's that kind of a fight where you, you should expect the little man to take a lot of damage, right? Which is why this is a crazy fight, coming off an injury, right? Loma's, Loma's the type of fighter... And he, it's not like he got blown out by the bigger guy in um, uh, Telfimo. You know, it was a very, very close fight. So his stock, yeah, it should have dropped. But, I mean, not that much. I, I still think if you, if you don't want to have him number one pound for pound, I would say, well, that's because we we're really not sure about his shoulder and, and if he's going to be how that's going to affect them going forward, right? So I think that's fair, but I mean, at the same time, you could just as well have them still at number one pound for pound if you think the injury is not going to affect them that much, right? So this is, it's like, they, in my opinion, unless maybe he just has no choice. He has to take this fight. Maybe it's fixed. But like, this is not the type of fight a guy that's on his way out, basically, uh, and is coming off an injury, it's not the type of fight that you want to put your fighter in if you're promoting him, if you're his manager. This is just, like, if he's going to be risking, you know, so much physically, physical damage, potentially, well, shouldn't he be fighting for a belt or something? Are they fighting for a belt? No. They're not even fighting for a belt. Like... Look, mandatory, blah, 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 all this stuff. Yeah, 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 I get it. <laughs> I'm not saying that I support it, but, like, we've seen fighters duck mandos or, or mandated fights for the number one mandatory spot, wiggle out of this or that fight with the excuse being, well, I'm getting a better, bigger fight and everyone accepting it, so on and so forth. Like, Bob Arum is powerful enough. Um, they can... um he could get him a title shot if he really wanted to, right? But, you know, maybe this is what Loma wants. He wants to be at 135. He wants a shot at uh, Telfimo again, and, and this is the way to do it. 
So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but this is it's kind of suspect to me and it's it's this is a red flag, guys. I'm not saying Loma loses, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if he did. Right? That shoulder goes, Nakatani's going to keep coming and coming and Loma's not going to have enough firepower to keep him honest. He'll outmaneuver him if he wants to. And maybe still shots here and there and make him look silly. That could happen. But, I mean, every single second of every single round, and it's probably going to go 12 if Loma is injured, um, it's going to be dangerous to a point where it's potentially career-ending, right? This is a very, very dangerous fight for Loma, given all the circumstances and how much of a... the fact that it's so much of a physical mismatch. And this... Let's let's see what all the people who are criticizing me for saying that if Loma, this is what I said, if Loma can beat everybody at 135 and not have any more challenges. Look, if Loma had gotten the decision against Teofimo, right, I would have said go up to 140. But I was saying this before even the Teofimo fight ever happened, that if if Loma, you know, grabs up all the belts at 135 or there's no more challenges... Uh, that are worthy or if there are better challenges he should move up to 140 and if he does the same thing at 140 move up to 147 if 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 i'm not gonna like uh, shit on the guy and and put a cap on him right like some other people oh no he's too small he's too small well i mean i don't know that you don't know that let's see what happens if right it, it was always conditional if he can do this he should go up another weight class get another challenge and fighting Teofimo Lopez and, and this guy, that's basically what, what he's doing. How long before Teofimo is at 140, right? Winning belts up there. Competing with, with the best. How long? How long before Nakatani is up there? Right? If he could compete with Teofimo Lopez, who will end up as a welterweight when he's in his 30s, right? So why can't Lomachenko, right, potentially, like, you know, but... Somehow I have, like, a double standard and, and I'm protecting Lomachenko and, and I'm a fanboy and I, I keep hearing all this shit from, uh, well, retards, basically. Intellectually dishonest idiots. It is what it is. Making shit up in their heads. So, yeah. Loma, simply, if you believe the injury, and I do, Lomachenko beating arguably even with an injury arguably beating I'm not, look i don't think he did but 6-6 six, six in that fight perfectly fine 6-6 six, six with a knockdown right yeah loma won the fight referee protected uh teofimo from a knockdown he curled up in the fetal position from a body shot by lomachenko and the referee jumped in and protected him like the referee protected aj from joe parker it is what it is right that was the A side in the fight, Telfimo. So the simple fact that Lomachenko injured, went life and death, and competed against someone like Telfimo, who will probably do something at 140 pounds, tells me that my prediction, uh, and even it, you know, it was a conditional prediction. If 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 if, but but seeing. Um, Loma's potential and how it could play out, how he could be tested, right? Even at 140 pounds and have some success up there. I think I'm, I'm going to say that was a pretty accurate prediction because he's essentially, I know they're weighing in at 135, but he's essentially fighting 140, 147 pound, pound guys, right? Put Nakatani next to Pacquiao. You know what I mean? And I know Pacquiao's maybe a natural lightweight, but you know, put Nakatani next to Keith Thurman. They're going to look the same size. So, it is what it is, man. What it is is a very dangerous fight for Lomachenko. Um, kind of a kind of a red flag for me. I'm, I'm not sure why this fight is happening, but if any of you have any idea, like, does Loma want this fight for this or that reason is he forced to take this fight and if so who's forcing him to do it like what what's the what's the plan here what's going on here but um i expect loma to win this fight unless you know he's just 
so broken down physically that maybe, you know, he really is on his way out, like Teofimo was saying. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, hopefully he does all the, you know, substances he needs to do to rebuild that tissue. Um, just another reason why I'm pro uh, fighters using whatever they need to use. Um, I'm to always been, always will be pro all of that. Not like most boxing fans out there, right? Let's clean up the sport of boxing. Canelo tests positive, right? Everybody's juicing. <laughs> Shout out to Stu on BDA. <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. Oh, let me get a hold of that dude. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Very, very dangerous fight for Lomachenko. But if Loma is um, back to his former self and, and he could recover from this injury, I don't know. Kind of, kind of hard to believe he can be, right? But if for some reason he is at 100% in this fight, if only this fight, um, he's going to stop Nakatani, right? But, uh, you know, it's I'm looking forward to the fight. I mean, because... I don't know what's going to happen, right? It's a real fucking fight. I mean, you know, we'll see. If Nakatani gets a black eye and, and quits all of a sudden, right? All the all the Canelitas are, you know, what they're going to say, right? Right. The exact opposite of what they should say. It is what it is. Um, and uh, what it is is the ending of my video. Thanks for watching.